Hey guys, Andrew here with Orange Bug Studios. I just opened uh, my Spark Phone package. Uh, there we go. Um, and one of the things I got was this uh, TSL235R chip, which is a light to frequency converter. Here it is on my solderless breadboard right here. Uh, it's quite tiny. Um, and what it does is it converts light intensity uh, to frequency uh, and all it needs is a voltage uh, and then it outputs frequency, it's pretty cool. Um, so somebody in the comments had suggested an optical theremin and someone else had said that they would try it but then nothing else happened after that so I figured I would try it and actually post something. So I've got the converter here. It's just plugged into my Arduino just to get a 3.3 uh, volt source. Uh, and it's going out to a little uh, amplifier and a speaker. So let's plug it in and let's hear what it sounds like. So it's actually quite amazingly sensitive. Um, maybe not so useful as an optical theremin because that's really annoying and with a range of 100 to 100 kilohertz um, most of the range that you're going to get in room lighting is piercing um, even if I grab it it's as low as it'll go but it's pretty cool, it's very sensitive it'll even sense shadows and I can even turn off a lamp your desk lamp and it goes down significantly. Um, the reason that I got it was uh, I have it back home, I am at school right now, I have a uh, laser scanner and I was thinking of turning the, uh, I have a laser pointer here, the converter into essentially a grayscale scanner. You can see it picks up the uh, laser quite well. It is quite bright. So, to give some contrast, I have uh, my this nice redacted uh, smartphone packing list here. And uh, because it's quite sensitive and it just picks up any light, I can, don't even have to have it really that near to it. It just gets the scattered light output of the laser as I scan it across an image. So, I use my laser scanner and a uh, D to A converter to um, move the galvanometers across for instance a page or even a barcode which right here you can hear the uh, frequency changing of course it will get higher the closer I get to the sensor so I'll have to factor that in I'm thinking maybe two sensors on either side of the material and then I'll average the two to uh, get rid of that proximity issue. Um, so I'll use a D to A with the, like an Arduino to control the galvanometers to sweep the laser back and forth and then it will sample values from the light to frequency converter uh, send it to max or PD um, and interpret those numbers into grayscale values to essentially write out a uh, bitmap, a grayscale image, um, which here would mean I would get some low resolution image of these black lines, um, but I could project the laser scanner through a microscope and make a laser scanning microscope with this, which is the idea that I'm exploring. So. There you go, the TSL-235R light to frequency converter.